Hi everyone, Dr. Victoria Skirbo here, speaking to you from the Caesar Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. I'm here in my office, um, and I thought I would pull some cards on some of the um, bigger um, races that we're looking at. I'm thinking of the Senate, um, and I thought I would look at uh, Lindsey Graham and Jamie Harrison Mitch McConnell and McGrath, and I think McSally and um, Kelly. I think those are, why not, right? Okay, whoops, sorry. <laughs> I have to shuffle, to shuffle. Uh, yeah, so very interesting doings. I guess we're having a debate. Uh, I could do some cards on that. Uh, of course, you know, I mean, Trump changes his mind, like, oh, I don't know, uh, a lot. I was going to use this, I was going to use, was that a metaphor, simile, a metaphor, or a simile? Well, <laughs> sorry. Oh, God, the nuns are rolling around in their graves. Um, I do know the difference metaphor um doesn't have like or as in it <laughs> see i remember all right let's look at lindsey graham and uh jamie harrison south carolina for the uh senate seat lindsey graham's been in there for a long time i think over 20 years um yeah and he's kind of a power broker uh, he was always kind of seen as, um, always kind of seen like in the middle, uh, more towards the middle, but I think that was the influence of John McCain. And, uh, I think he, I think, um, Graham is attracted to power and he saw John McCain have power. Um, and so he sort of followed in his footsteps. And then he saw that Trump had power and he followed in Trump's footsteps. Of course, Trump's footsteps are the road to perdition. So uh, there was honor, right? And perdition, hell. Honor and dishonor, interesting, right? He is a cancer, he is a cancer. I don't know his exact birthday, but let's take a look. Let's take a look, you know, I think I think I might have actually erected a numerology and Kabbalah chart for Lindsey Graham, but I don't know if I ever actually did it. Like I studied it and all that stuff, but I never actually did it. So maybe I will do that. I think I did Mitch McConnell. I'll have to check. It was a while back, so I don't really remember. Um, but I do want to get more of that stuff done. I like putting that. The Kabbalah stuff out. All right, so this is Lindsey Graham. Uh, will Lindsey Graham um, win? Okay, so we have him standing, um, ready to fight. He's somewhat battered, but he does have a lot of experience behind him. So we can't underestimate the experience uh, that he has. And He's, I think he's not above making deals with people to get his way. Um, obviously, I think that's pretty obvious actually when you see him, but um, let's just say he's in, he's at war and he's an old warrior. So he knows a lot of tricks. I'm not sure Jamie Harrison knows what's crossing it. Um, the Democratic's victory. Right. The, 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 the specter that the Democrats could actually win. Let's see what's underneath it. The Herophant. The Herophant. So what's underneath this? The Herophant. The Herophant is about listening to the still small voice within. Um, mostly I associate it with our conscience. <laughs> and I think at the root of this is that Lindsey Graham had an opportunity to follow his conscience or to follow the power. 
and he chose the power. He chose the power. And what's interesting about uh, McCain is that McCain, while I do not agree with everything he's done, certainly, so I just, you know, politically, for those people who are, you know, politically aware of some of the stuff McCain did. I understand. I didn't agree with him, but the, on an typical level, we're talking about um, McCain would not always, but often choose the hard thing or the right thing, as opposed to the thing that would bring him more power. So, uh, but I don't feel like uh, Lindsay did that. Let's see what's in the past. So we have secrets in the past. So there's some sort of secret. You know, a lot of people talk about Lindsey Graham perhaps being um, gay and that he's um, either it hasn't come out or it's, it's not something he himself knows or whatever. Um, but I don't think that's the kind of secret that's there. I think it has to do with money and I think it has to do with where he got his money you know, campaigns or payoffs or something. I mean, it's it's almost a given that all politicians of great power have done that. Not, I guess if they stay in power long enough, then they, they don't have to necessarily worry about getting caught doing it. But I think for the most part, most of them do it, you know, to greater extent or lesser extent. It, it sort of depends on their moral compass. Um, but money is power. And sometimes money can can buy stuff, even um, even for the best intentioned people. So it's not an all or nothing evil thing. Let's see what's in the sky. So I feel like it has to do with money. So we have the star in the sky. We have hope. There's hope. Now, is this his hope? Yes, it could be his hope. Or it could also be... Uh, America's hope for a better future. The star card is associated with Aquarius. Aquarius is a sign associated with the future. Um, and it's a, and it's a future that is um, based on uh, high, high, uh, not so much high, uh, high ideals, high ideals about, uh, you know, uh, all men are created equal. All men, all women are created equal. That's very Aquarian ideal. And so that's in the sky. Let's see what's in the immediate future for him. Okay, we have the King of Swords. Um, this almost feels like some legal issue that's going to come up for him. Some legal issue. Now this is six weeks out. And so this could actually be, uh, the election is, um, it comes to, they, he brings it to court. He, he finds some of their, or they find something or, you know, he's got a lot of friends in you know, very powerful places in that state. They can make things happen. Um, that um, make it seem like something wasn't right legally um, on the side of the Democrats, right? And so uh, so there may be a legal action or it, they take the take it to court because it's either too close to call or, uh, you know, it's close, uh, the Democrat wins, but there's, is, did he really win? You know, that kind of stuff the usual Republican bag of tricks, as it were. Voter suppression, you know, payoff and all that stuff. Um, how it's seen from the outside. Um, well, actually, I feel like the one with the biggest coffers could win here. That's, the, that's, what, that's what it looks like from the outside. And I know Jamie Harrison has raised a lot, a lot of money. Um, domestic situation. So he is just, he's hung out to dry, really. He's hung out to dry. And it's, and it's not even something that he um, doesn't deserve or I don't want to say deserve. 
he need maybe he needs to get hung out to dry for the goodness of his soul and and for him to be to reverse the way that he's lived his life and making these choices you know perhaps finding the power within and not having to follow these guys you know becoming his own person and being okay with that that's what the hangman can do for you because you got nothing else to do but self improve um or you could get drunk i guess because it is a neptune card uh let's see hopes and fears hmm. lindsey graham oh yikes yeah ten of swords i guess it's a fear i guess it's fair to want to look at it so i looked at it through the camera yeah that's a fear for sure and it's and it's not even just um like it's just like it's done it's over with your time you know your time in the limelight is over Again, he's, he has le lessons to learn, right? Maybe he can learn them now. Outcome, the hermit. So from these cards, I'm not going to do Jamie's cards because these cards indicate that um, Lindsey Graham is going to actually lose. And he is going to, even if he brings something up, um, he's going to lose. And it's going to cause him to really... Uh, isolate himself now could that isolation be a jail cell um i don't think so but the threat of jail could hang over him you know like they could say well we don't know we have to see we have to go through the this could be actually something uh connected with uh this past card of secrets uh where he got the money where he got the money. So um, I think that could come up for him. All right. So looks like Lindsay's going into retirement. I mean, the guy has plenty of money. Uh, he's probably got plenty of friends, plenty of things to do. Uh, most of us who are that creepy don't, don't get to, don't get to enjoy our life like that. I don't think, but maybe I'm wrong. All right. Let's look at, um, Let's look at McSally. Let's look at McSally. I guess what I'll do is I'll look at the incumbents. I donated to Kelly. Him and Gabby, they're so cute. You know? Shame what happened to that woman. Bright, beautiful. I'm sure she's lost something. You can't have a bullet go in your brain and not lose some function. But, you know when the intellect maybe recedes the heart comes out bigger okay so this is mcsally strength okay so we have somebody who's who's strong um i mean was she a helicopter pilot i think she's strong this woman's got um I, I feel like she's got the energy that she's going to do what she needs to do to get the job done. And I think in part, that was part of the issue with her, um, doing the Trump thing, like making it, making, you know, going the Trump route, so to speak. I think she, I think she saw it as something she needed to do, um, to either curry favor or increase her power or, or maybe get, even get the Republicans to back her campaign. It could have been something as simple as that. I mean, we put all kinds of things, we attach all kinds of things to it because we don't see the stories behind the scenes, right? But I feel like she has like a lot of grit and a lot of ability to, and she's got a lot of heart. She's got a lot of heart, but you know, it doesn't mean that you make the right decisions all the time. <laughs> see what's crossing it. Uh, moving away from chaos. Um, I think she wants to stop. I think that she's, I, I, th I think she wants to, to not do it. I think she wants to move away from it. Um, I think deep within, she doesn't want to run. 
I don't know. I have no idea. This is just what I'm getting, right? Let's see what's underneath it all. The, uh, the Queen of Wands. Um, like, I think that she wants to be seen as a woman of power. And I think at the core of that is, is, is utilizing her feminine power, not like her feminine wiles power, but just the fact that she's a woman and she's as strong, if not stronger and more heartfelt than most, than most men really. Um, and to be able to do what she did, um, and I think she wants to be respected. And I think when she pulled a Trump on, um, and the, you know, I mean, maybe the, maybe the people on the, the Republican side thought it was a great idea that she did it. But, uh, I think there's morals, you know, there's, 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 there's levels, there's, there's things that, uh, you don't give up for uh, expediency but you know like you don't really know what's happening behind the scenes well let's see what was happening behind the scenes um i almost well, it's so funny because there's this guy here and um he's got his back to the door he's got all these um other wands coming to him but their door the door is a glow and it symbolizes that, uh, you know, he has an escape route. He has an escape route. Yeah, let's see. I just had a thought. This is what's in the sky. Um, I think that she's looking for a brighter horizon. She's waiting for something to come in. I think it's new opportunities. I don't think it's the election. I think she's already looking into the future. She's already, um, she's already has her eye on the next adventure for herself. Immediate. She's going to be judged. That is the election. People are going to wake up to something. I don't feel like that's her judgment. Well, it is her judgment in a way. Because she's going to be judged for her actions. And so judgment comes down. So she's losing because she she went the Trump route. Um, how it seemed from the outside. Yeah, change. Yeah. So she's not she's not doing it. Uh, domestic situation, victory. Interesting, right? I said she's gonna lose and her domestic situation is victory. But perhaps your domestic situation is usually your family and your home life. Um, her losing, maybe she has more opportunity to be with her family. Hmm. Hopes and fears. She'll get a good job. She'll get a good job. She's, she's a powerful woman. She's a powerful woman. She's, she's going to do just fine. All these threes here. We have two, actually we have two threes are associated with the divine feminine, Bina, in the Tree of Life. Outcome, yeah, she's fine. She's fine. She's going to get a, a nice job with whatever, what is that, Martin? Um, um, one of the, 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 that makes Lockheed Martin or something like that. She's going to be fine. She's going to be fine underneath new offers. So she's going to be fine, but her um, she's not going to win. She's going to lose. So that's two. Now let's look at McConnell. This is the longest shot. This is the longest shot. So let's take a look at Mitch. Um, should I use a different deck? I don't know. This deck has been working pretty good. I think I'll stick with this deck. It's just going to take a little longer for me to uh, shuffle. I don't really have a good spot to shuffle. I don't have like a flat surface except for the top of my laptop. And when I try to shuffle on that, I end up shutting off my video. So <laughs> that's not helpful. <laughs> All right. Mitch, Mitch, Mitch. I want to make sure I shuffle these good for Mitch. Mitch, the turtle man. Oh my God. 
Sorry, I thought I dropped a card, but I kicked a wire instead. I think I would know the difference between how that felt. All right. Mitch, Mitch McConnell. Mitch McC that was Mitch McConnell for me, too. When I, when I get into his energy, I feel like he's in a steel box. And that's what, that's what it, it, it feels like to me, that he is boxed in or that his energy is like that. It, he puts things in steel boxes and, and, and just sort of puts them away so that you can't get to them. And I think that, you know, he does that a lot when bills come to him and he just doesn't bring them up. He just doesn't bring them up. He puts them in this like box and that's him. He's an obstructionist and I still see him in the box. So I don't see him. Um, he's very mental. I don't feel any very, very psychic, but I don't feel any like heart stuff with him. I don't feel like, he really cares about anything, but uh, the next strategic move that he makes. I think that's like his pride, right? And then um, then I know his, his wife, and when I feel her energy, I just feel solar plexus. I feel calculation with her and, uh, and power, calculation and power, calculation and power. But she doesn't mind being behind the scenes. She doesn't necessarily want to be the face of it. But, you know, I guess they're married, so they can't both be doing the same thing, putting themselves out like that in the same way. All right. Mitch McConnell. Oops. Okay, good. I thought this was already a half hour. It's only 20 minutes, 22 minutes. All right, Mitch. There, there he is in his metal box. Uh, swords are metal, and the four is the square, the box. Um, he, it's as if he's in um, isolation, like hiding. Um, not getting perturbed by what's going on in the outside. It's almost like he's in this meditative state. And I wouldn't say that the man meditates, but I feel like he can maybe use his mind and focus his mind in such a way that he focuses on a specific goal or, or how he's going to get there as opposed to like doing what other people want him to do, or, you know, or even what his constituents want him to do. It's like, he doesn't care about that. That's not what he's doing. He's not, he's not really there to, to, um, for the people of Kentucky. That's what it feels like. Let's see what's crossing it. Well, the five of pentacles. So there's a poverty here. I don't think he's worried about money. Poverty. Um, if something does hurt him, it's going to be that he's not do, uh, uh, doing the stimulus because people are suffering. He's sort of, what, okay, so what this says to me is that he's cut off from people's suffering. He doesn't look at it. It's, that's not where his mind's at. He doesn't care about that. And we have the, uh, the page of cups. At the bottom, um, you know, it's funny. This page of cups, I, I think anyway, but maybe I'm hallucinating. Not that I took anything to hallucinate. Looks a little like McGrath, doesn't it? It's hard to see because I can't get it close. If I try to get it too close, it doesn't focus, right? But it looks kind of like McGrath and pages actually, um, pages can be, well, the, a lot of times they're depicted as young boys. 
but in in other decks they're the princesses they're the daughters and in fact um, in the tree of life uh, the pages are in Malkuth and it is the place of daughters so hmm. so I'm not sure that's a message of some sort a message of love, a mess of, message of wisdom. You know, I've, I, I did one on Mitch McConnell before. And was that him who I thought there was something inappropriate that was going to come up? I kept seeing pages and pages and pages. Uh, you know, these pages, pages of cups, pages of, of, of wands. I think it was around him. And sometimes when I see that, I go, well, maybe there's some like, you know, how they're all into that, you know, you know what I'm talking about, right? I'm not going to say it. You know, power and young men and women. <sighs> huh. You almost feel like he doesn't come from that place. That's how mental he is. I don't know. In the past, we have victory. So he certainly had his victories. Probably his biggest victory was not uh, not getting Mer Mer Merrick Garland to, to, to come up for his, um, what was it, his hearings, his nomination. In the sky, we have the Seven of Cups. So a lot of smoke and mirrors. So they're putting up a lot. There's a smoke screen going on. They don't want you to see something. Let's see what's in the immediate future. This is really interesting. All right, we have the King of Wands. The King of Wands, who is that? I don't know what McSally's not McSally, McGrath's birthday is. I should check that out. Um, Cause she could come across as a king. She has a lot of masculine energy. Hmm. I don't know what, it, oh, here it is. Let me see. I'm gonna try to pause this. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Um, she's actually a Gemini. The 3rd of June. Excuse me, I dropped. Oh, God, I dropped a card. Um, the 30th of June. Um, 3rd of June, 1975, Gemini. Um, so, and she was a Marine fire, fighter pilot. Okay, so, um, so this could be her. This could be her, because she uh she represents honor. She represents somebody with courage. She represents somebody who's willing to sacrifice themselves for their men or for their country, um, in a way that McConnell does not. Right. So she's the antithesis of that. All right. Let's see how it's seen from the outside. We have the Temperance card. Um, so this is a, a, a balancing or, um, a he some sort of healing that's happening. Um, some alchemical process. We'll see. Our dom uh, his domestic situation. Oh, change in fortune. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, hopes and fears. He doesn't have enough money. Hmm, that's weird. And outcome. Oh, it might be very, very close. Very, very close. A tie. Um, all right, let's see. We have the Knight of Swords. Somebody coming to the rescue. And an ending.
and a new uh, a new journey. I okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna call it according to these cards. Mitch McConnell's gonna lose. Mitch McConnell's gonna lose. He did his thing. He got all his Supreme Court people in there, and he um, he packed the courts. That's really what he came to do. That was his job. He's done that. He he. Even if he wins, he's not going to have the same power because um, the Senate's going to go to the Democrats. I think. All right, I gotta go. My husband beat me to say it's time to eat. I just want to show you um, these flowers. I actually bought the roses for him, for Michael, um, you know, because he hurt himself and it was like a get well thing. And then he, uh, but, you know, it was just roses. And then he went into the garden and he got the honeysuckle and he got these, these little berries here. I think these are rose hips. And then he also put holly. You see the holly here? It's just so pretty. He does such a beautiful job. I'm always astounded. I, I could, I never. When I do it, it never looks like that. Let's, let's, let's put that. Let's just say that. So, um, anyway, I thought you might enjoy those too. So, so pretty. Um, so I wanted to share them, and they smell pretty nice too. You know the roses. So, all right, guys. See you later. Bye. I hope you enjoy that. Like, subscribe. For those of you who are donating to my channel, thank you very much. It's greatly appreciated. For those of you who are taking my classes, even better, um, because I like to give, you know, I like to give. And um, thanks for everyone for your for your thoughts. Uh, so the, the this the story on Max is that I I'm gonna I think I'm gonna have to get him on Saturday. So I have to figure out how I'm gonna do that because I have to get to Connecticut to pick him up. And Michael has his MRI on Saturday. So I'll keep you posted. All right, guys. Love to you all. Bye-bye.